Kia ora. I'm Christina Hoppner, Project Lead and Product Manager of the Mahara Open Source Portfolio Platform. I'd like to introduce you to some of the features of Mahara 22.10 released on the 31st of October 2022. The Mahara team at Catalyst IT is excited to share the new features and changes with our community for you to be able to work with electronic portfolios more easily. There are always lots of people involved in a release, and we would like to thank them all, including the organizations that sponsored new features. Please see the release notes for more details on the many contributors. The focus for this release was on usability improvements and making code changes to prepare for PHP 8.1 support. Let's take a look at some of the usability improvements. An important aspect of usability is accessibility to ensure that anybody can perceive the content that you have in your portfolios. To that effect, we made it easier to differentiate between decorative images and those that need alternative text and might also do with a caption. You can now easily decide to have a decorative image that is an image that doesn't contribute to the content but is a visual decoration. Such images will have empty alt text so that screen readers ignore them. You can also add alternative text and a separate caption if you like to images that do convey content. When you use the portfolio completion functionality, you now see a yes, no switch on a page to more clearly indicate that you can perform an action and sign off your page or ask somebody else to verify it. The collective, pages and collections are now known as portfolios. We still differentiate between a single page of a portfolio and a collection, which is a number of pages combined into a larger portfolio, but around the site they are all called portfolios. If you work with Smart Evidence to map your portfolio content to competencies, administrators can track a summary view of the number of competencies achieved in the report section. This overview allows them to see a snapshot of where the learners are at right now. All smart evidence statuses are displayed along with who has access to each portfolio. In particular, when you work with templates, you can use the quick edit option on text blocks to facilitate the editing of the content without going into full edit mode. This functionality is now also available for the PDF, files, and course completion blocks for quickly adding or replacing files or changing the timeframe for course completions coming from the LMS. A couple of administrative features facilitate the management of a Mahara site. Server administrators can export accounts via a command line script and site administrators can move accounts via CSV if they do not use SAML, where moving accounts can be accomplished by learners themselves. Both features allow quick changes to several accounts at once. One major technical change that our team is working on is the support of PHP 8.1. We have a first implementation working and are looking for organizations to try it out on a non-production server and give it a good test. We do not yet recommend you upgrade your production servers to use PHP 8.1, but would appreciate testing feedback. We will continue to make progress in providing support for that new version of PHP. These were some of the new features for Mahara 22.10. There are a few more that you can explore along with a number of corrections that you can read about in the release information and the individual tracker items via tinyurl.com slash Mahara 2210. They will also be documented in the Mahara manual for version 22.10. This is currently in progress and we aim to update the manual within the next month. As usual, you can download Mahara from mahara.org download and install it on your own infrastructure or ask your support company to upgrade your site. If you want to learn how others are using portfolios in general and Mahara in particular, subscribe to our new podcast, Create, Share, Engage. A new episode is published every two weeks. Instructors, tutors, learning designers, and many more share their stories of working with portfolios and provide tips for colleagues 
and also learners. You can listen to Create, Share, Engage in your favorite podcast app or at podcast.mahala.org. If you'd like to share your organization's story, please get in touch with me. The entire Mahara team at Catalyst and I look forward to hearing from you about the new features and future ideas for further enhancing Mahara. Kia ora and enjoy Mahara 22.10.